at the local flea market I bought these three drill chucks I think I paid about 20 euro for them I didn't get them at the same uh, seller um, these two um, came in their original packing so they have never been used this one I'm not sure of it looks used um, these two are both uh, German uh, Röhm shocks this is a, an imperial sized one it goes from um, let's see one uh, over 32 to 38 so that's about 0 0.8 to 10 millimeter and it takes a 38 uh, 24 TPI thread and this one is uh, 0 0.5 to 8 millimeter and it takes the same 38 24 TPI thread this one the big one is a uh, 1 to 30 millimeter and it has a, a Jacobs taper number 6 I don't have any arbors for these so um, I gonna try and make some they'll be useful uh, for the small drills since my uh, regular um, chuck goes from 1.5 millimeter to 16 so I can use them for small uh, drills and also maybe set it up with a, uh, a center drill so I can just change out the whole chuck plus including the drill I'm gonna try and make the arbor out of this old bolt that came from a, a tractor it's part of the, um, I don't know how to call it, um, the uh, the lift assembly on the rear of the tracker uh, where you hook up the plows and stuff. It's it's from a uh, for a adjustable arm. It broke and well, the parts are still laying around. So why not use them? That will work. I have the workpiece mounted between centers. First time for me. Um, I had to move the center back because the late dark wasn't uh, caught with uh, the jaws of the chuck. Um, I'm gonna hand feed it, see what happens. I have no idea how hard this stuff is. Speed it up. I'm going to sharpen the tool again. I have little faith in my 
tool grinding abilities, but well, you can only learn by trying. sure if this lift dock will fit underneath the carriage. Yeah, no problem. Um. Oh. Huh. We seem to have an interrupted cut. Uh, yeah. Go much further. It seems to be machining much nicer near the chuck and even a smooth finish over here. As you can see here at the chuck end, things are really getting smooth. There also seems to be less chatter. So it might be harder at the other end. Where the uh, where the gear was uh, welded on. All right, take another cut. Um, this here is a, uh, a number two more stable, and the thickest part of it is just under 80 millimeters. The workpiece is also about 80 millimeters now, but I still need to take off some more because of the surface damage. So, if I start from the tailstock end, I'll end up here, right in the heavily damaged part. So, I'm not, I'm thinking maybe I should move the taper over here, but that's way too long for me to cut with my compound so I'm gonna take up some material here and then start working on a taper I've shortened the workpiece and redrilled the center hole I even we ground the center and I'm getting ready to set up the compound for a number two Morse taper but in order to cut that the compound needs to get closer to the uh, workpiece but I'm running into an issue here because the um, handle here is touching the tailstock well one side is Hmm. Some Chinese worker probably had it had an off day. 
or it is maybe it is bent. Well, I can't see. So I need to find a solution for this. Probably take the handle off and make an extension and come in from behind the tailstock, probably using a, um, a cordless drill. Well, I got the handle out, which wasn't uh, as easy as I thought it would be. I had to drill it out, and even then, it wouldn't. Uh, well, I couldn't pull it out. Anyway, it's off now. I replaced it with a flexible. Um, I don't know. Uh, extension for a socket set. Uh, got the uh, the drill on a piece of string. Or strap I guess and I'm ready to uh, recut the, uh, the the center point all right oh, uh, I tightened up the cross slide because the drill is is a bit powerful and uh, well it just needs a bit more resistance so I can easily modulate the speed. hard to control. far from perfect uh, maybe with some practice well I'm done setting up the uh, cross light and this is the best I could do I don't think the uh, the arbor is 100% straight but we'll see if this will work I'm getting ready to uh, cut the taper. I've already um, cut off the last part of the arbor according to these pages I got from Wikipedia. It should be 13 millimeter thick with a 60 millimeter length. I am a bit worried about uh, the feed rate of the uh, with the the a cordless drill because uh, this stuff is pretty hard to machine you well it's very hard to get a decent surface finish it does seem to be a bit uh, softer um, in the middle because it, it's uh, it cut easier when I, uh, when I got deeper all right here goes nothing
bit of sh uh, chatter on there. Well, it's definitely not mirror like. Okay. taken a few more passes and uh, the uh, surface damage is gone so at least uh, we got enough material to cut the taper but um, it's very hard to get a nice finish on here it's very rough um, I might need to regrind the tool or maybe try a different tool. Oh. But first I need to take a few more passes. understand how I get got this surface finish the last time I changed to a um, high-speed steel tool bit I um, well tried to grind it myself and well my success when it comes to grinding tool bits is very limited I had a number of tool bits break the point off but we'll try again maybe we'll get it right sometimes It's not worse, but it's also not much better. The point is still there. Still shite. No, call it a day. Okay, one more try. I tried to, to improve the uh, radius of the uh, cutting tool and I changed the angle on the tool holder. Let's see what happens. Batteries uh, started to die. Well, it's a bit of an improvement.
an Android. Also didn't help. It's actually a bit worse off. Um, right. I guess maybe I could polish it because I can't take off anymore. I already took off too much. So I'll probably have to uh, shorten it from this side. But uh, that's something for tomorrow. That's reasonable, but I took off too much, so this piece is a failure, and I'll have to start over again. Too bad. Mm.